This is the Nano Boilerplate. It's an adaptable .NET template which allows you to build modern web applications with multi-tenant features in record time. First, I'll show you how to install the boilerplate and then we'll use it to create a multi-tenant application. To install the CLI tool, just place the NuGet package somewhere on your computer easy to get to. Open a terminal window and navigate to the folder that contains the NuGet that you downloaded. Type .NET new install dot slash nano dot boilerplate dot version number dot NuGet package. This will install the templates provided by the Nano Boilerplate and you can start to use them. Let's open up Visual Studio and select Create New Project. Search to find the Nano Boilerplate project template, give it a name, and here we can specify our UI setup and type of multi-tenancy. The MultiDB option means that the tenants can have separate databases. SingleDB means that all the tenants will share the same database. And single tenant omits the multi-tenancy features altogether. For the UI, we can specify if we want a single page application setup, which means that the presentation layer will be a web API, or we can specify Razor, which will create a Razor Pages project as the presentation layer, and there will be pages for our front end. I'll leave the default options here and create the new project. Here's our newly generated project, which follows clean architecture. The presentation layer is a web API since we went with a single page app setup. Make sure to select this as the startup project and run the application. Initial migrations will automatically be applied on startup and a new database will be created in our SQL server. New applications are seeded with a default admin user and root tenant. I'll create a new tenant and since we selected MultiDB when we set up our project, we have this option here to put new tenants on their own database. I'll select this and create the tenant if we refresh SQL Server now, we can see that a separate database has been created for this new tenant. The boilerplate comes with two client-side projects, a React and a Vue version of the UI you see here. These are completely separate projects that can be maintained independently. When you're ready to publish your app, just replace the static files in the www root folder of the .NET project with the build output of your client-side app. The backend is front-end agnostic, so you can use whatever front end you want. You're not limited to the ones provided. Let's create another app, this time with Razor Pages. I'll do things from the command line this time. So let's create a new folder for the project and navigate to that folder in the terminal. And then let's type .NET new nano dash n for the name parameter. This one's required. I'm gonna name this project nano razor and I'm gonna pass the UI parameter with Razor as the option. And let's change things up even more by passing in the multi-tenancy parameter, dash M, and specify single DB for a shared tenant database. Here's our new Razor project. The presentation layer this time is a Razor Pages app with server rendered pages composing the front end. If we navigate to the tenant management view, we no longer have an option for isolated database whenever we create a new tenant. So any tenants we create here will keep their data within a shared database. In the next guide, we'll add a new entity and we'll use the CLI tool to scaffold all the code for the service and controller. You'll see how we can use the tool to greatly reduce the amount of code we need to write when building new features. All of the steps that we went through here are documented in our guides, which you can find on the website. Thanks for watching, click subscribe and stick around for the next video.